Now that we know what the PSM is and how it is used to find the center of a ball or spherical surface, we are ready to demonstrate the measurement of the radius of curvature of a concave mirror. First, we focus on the surface of the mirror to get a cat's eye reflection. Just as in the case of the ball, the cat's eye reflection produces a reflected spot conjugate with the point source and defines where the crosshairs are set. We use the Set Reference button to set the crosshairs on the spot. Next, the PSM is moved back to the center of curvature of the concave mirror. It is convenient to know ahead of time that the radius of curvature is about 24 inches because the PSM will not show evidence of the, any reflected light until the objective is close to the center of curvature in both focus and lateral position. If the center of curvature is hard to find, it is quite helpful to turn the PSM laser onto the bright mode and use a piece of white paper to locate the reflected spot. Once the reflected spot is found near the center of curvature, the PSM is focused. Because the PSM is quite sensitive to focus, this step requires some delicate adjustment or a micrometer stage. Once best focus is found, the mirror is tilted to bring the spot onto the crosshairs. Alternatively, the PSM can be translated laterally to bring the spot on the crosshairs and a final adjustment made of the focus. The PSM axial position is then read from the scale and written down. The PSM is then moved back to focus on the surface of the mirror. Notice that the cat's eye spot is perfectly centered on the crosshairs. Once the cat's eye reflection is in good focus, the PSM axial position is read off the scale and written down as before. The difference in the two scale readings is the radius of curvature of the mirror. It is always a good idea to repeat the measurement once or twice to be sure no error was made in the measurement and to give a good idea of the repeatability of the measurement.